Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist, and in this video I will be showing you how to use the gallery in Smart Notebook 10.0. To access the gallery, you'll click on the gallery icon on the right hand, of, right hand side of your screen. Now, if you've moved that toolbar over to the left, you might look over there for it. I'm going to click on it, and there are several different things in the gallery. In this video, I'm going to focus on the essentials for educators. Now, I want you to think of the gallery kind of like a clip art gallery of Microsoft Office. However, this one is on steroids. It has so much more to offer. Let's take a look on how you navigate around in the gallery. First of all, if we're going to go into the Essentials for Educators, which contains content-related objects, for example, there are things related to art, or music, or science, or math, and that's what you're going to find in the Essentials for Educators, content-related material. So I'm going to click on the plus sign, and notice here are the different categories that are in the Essentials for Educators. If I wanted to look at mathematics, I'm going to click on the plus sign, and I will see several subcategories in mathematics. Today, I'm going to look at the statistics and probability category. So again, whenever I see a plus sign, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Within statistics and probability, I have some different categories as well. They have cards and dice, graphing, and a spinner. Now below, what you'll find is you'll find within that category, statistics and probability, I'm going to find pictures and backgrounds. I have 91 available, interactive and multimedia, or notebook files and pages. Let's just take a look at the pictures and backgrounds first. So again, your categories are up here, your objects you'll find down here. In order to access those objects, I'll need to click on the arrow to open up that folder. I'm going to go ahead and add another page so we can kind of look at the objects inside of here. So I'm going to scroll down. I see a bunch of cards, and I see some dice. Now there are three ways that you can get an object out onto your page. The first one, my favorite, is a drag and drop. Just drag it and drop it where you want it to go. Very simple. Another way is to double click on the object, and it will appear in the top left hand corner of your page. And then the third way is to do the drop down menu and click insert in notebook. Now, I believe that one came on top of the other one, so I'll drag that out of the way. And of course, once it's there, you can move them, resize, etc. Now remember the category that we were in. We were in the um, pictures and background folder. So these are pictures of dice. Now if I wanted to go into the interactive section, I would close this folder up. And let's open up the interactive and multimedia. Now notice these objects in here have a red circle with a black F in the center because those are flash objects. Flash objects are all interactive in some way or another. So let's just drag one of the flash objects out onto the screen. And I'm going to click on it. Notice there's a big difference between this and the picture of the dice. To resize the flash objects, you grab the corner and you can resize, whereas on these, you'll click on them and you'll get the um, white circle to resize. All right, so the interactive and multimedia, of course, is my favorite section in the gallery. And then the third section are notebook files and pages. And one thing that you'll find in here, these are more along the lines of background objects. You'll notice that the objects have a little curled down corner. Any of the objects that have a curled down corner are objects that will lay in the background. When you insert those into your page, it will actually create a new page. So watch, let's just take this card table, drag it over, and it appears like the other things have disappeared. But if I go over here into my page sorter view, I'll see that it actually added a new slide for me. I can go back and find the other slide. So if you're going to use the backgrounds, you probably should do those first. Alright?
So those are your three areas. Now let me show you a real quick way that you can search. There's a search box up here, and let's just say I'm looking for dice and I don't remember where I found dice before. I can click on the little search icon and it's going to give me the results. Um, it says I have 10 related folders. I have seven pictures and backgrounds of dice. Oh yes, those looked familiar. We've seen those before. My interactive and multimedia. Ah, oh, let's see. I even have a dice that probably talks in Spanish. Let's see if we can hear it. Oh, pretty neat. So some of the objects even even talk to you. And so that's an easy way. And I've got some notebook files and pages as well. So once you've done your keyword search, then you can look down here and be careful of the, the folder that you look in, um, depending on what you're looking for. Now I'm going to give you one little quick tip that I really like that I use. And sometimes I just want to look for just the interactive objects, the flash objects. And this is an easy way to do it. I can just actually type in the word flash in the search area. And if I go to interactive and multimedia, I can look at all of the flash objects that are in my smart notebook gallery. So I can go through and I can look through all of those and see what's available in interactive multimedia objects. And that is the basics of the gallery. And again, like I said in the next video, I will give you a more in-depth look at the Lesson Activity Toolkit. Hope you enjoyed the video.